two years after its release and my wedding stories is claiming to uh, potentially be fixed thanks to the new update that just dropped in The Sims 4. I have actually never claimed this pack as my wedding stories. It has always firmly been wedding stories to me. Thank you very much. But who knows? Maybe after I play through it today and test if these fixes are working, maybe I will claim it. New interactions on the wedding arch allows you to set sims on either side of the aisle so if you do want to like break up like family and friends if you want to have one partner on one side and then the other on the other you now can you'll now be able to pick which sims perform the requested behavior when clicking on the wedding arch and do ceremony activities not gonna lie this is all gibberish to me it may as well be written in simlish to be completely honest because i have barely played this pack since it came out because it was so broken and just generally wasn't working for me. After telling guests to do a ceremony activity, they'll stop doing other things autonomously. They cracked it. They cracked the code. Music specific interaction is now available on the wedding arch in order co to control when wedding music plays. Not all of these have been updated in every single like localized language yet. So uh, they say that's coming in an upcoming release. Sims gather around without getting stuck as the wedding couples dance. Sims will perform exchange vows with officiant and kiss interaction. This has honestly been broken for me from the very beginning. So of course, we will be hiring an officiant today and it better be efficient. You can now sell wedding cakes to local bakers. Let me know if things are working for you as well. Take your seats interaction will no longer show up three times and Sims might actually listen to you. Without further ado, I pronounce Lady Demetrescu and Mole happily engaged. No, we don't have a wholesome dynamic actually. We have a steamy dynamic. She put her vampire teeth in the side of my neck. Lady D, can you actually come over here considering you do need to stay inside because you are a vampire darling and you will simply cease to exist if you set out in this Tartosa heat wave. Uh, I'm going to have you make a red with yellow roses two tiered round cake. Obviously I do want to see if we can sell that to a bakery and then I am actually gonna use my calendar we're gonna add a wedding event why can we only do a wedding ceremony and engagement dinner this is already going well Ugh, grim what are you doing here i'm just trying to fix my game bro he said death to my wedding stories i believe sims 4 now has billboards <laughs> It's so big. I disabled my mods and custom content. I repaired my game because I didn't want any of that messing with it. My sim can't actually do anything but these two. However, if we actually go to Lady Dimitrescu, she can actually plan more stuff. That's a strike to my wedding stories. Three strikes and it's out. Has to be a flower pal at wedding fairs. What do you say? And then we need to find someone who can can be our ring bearer and then also our sim of honor. Hillary is gonna be our ring bearer. Don't let Lady Dimitrescu hear this, but honestly, I would love it if I were getting married to Hillary. Absolutely love this woman. And finally, Dom is gonna be our sim of honor. So that is everyone pretty much booked up for the wedding. I feel like that took a really long time. Jeez Louise, it's like, wedding planning IRL. Anyone who's planning a wedding right now just hates me for saying that. Whilst I trust my future wife, we are actually gonna purchase a wedding cake. <laughs> I just want maybe a fancier one than what she can currently make. Oh, the one she made is actually really cute. We are not going to select it as cake for the wedding ceremony. Can't seem to sell it though. It doesn't currently have like the option. I don't know where that option is maybe meant to be. Hmm, is this strike two? The one that we just bought, we can sell it to the local bakery for 180 simoleons and also fame. 
and yet not the one that I have made. We are going to select that. Do not take a piece. Has someone already taken a piece? <gasps> That's why we couldn't sell it. Someone defo ate it. Hector was in the way of me opening my fridge. Hector's trying to cause issues for my wedding stories. He said, leave me in peace. I do not wish to be disturbed. If you don't like my pack, that's fine. Just let me be. I'm not going to invite Judith. Ward. I feel like it's already gonna be a hot mess. Let's be real. I don't need celebrities to add to that. No uh, wedding cake selected. After you finish scheduling the wedding ceremony, click on the cake that has been purchased or made. Mm, we'll see. We are gonna go uh, for a dress code. We're gonna do uh, polished and we're gonna have hopefully our sims wear black and it is going to be at the uh, Serena Copia because I am just a about copying with this pack. Can you all leave me alone? I'm just trying to make my wedding cake and I can't even bloody sell it because our batch party is about to begin. And guess what? There's still no cake dancers. What's the bet that we're gonna go home and Mole's gonna have eaten a piece of that cake? I'm gonna say very, very high. My wedding stories might be fixed and yet I'm still here fighting about food. Ooh, uh, call uh, attendees to uh, let's dance. Let's see if it is actually working with the uh, ceremony activities and see if they stop doing other things autonomously. Um, everyone is currently sat down, still uh, chatting, not dancing where I have told them to dance. We've actually even given up on that. We've gone to uh, dance in here instead. Call attendees, let's have toasts. Come on, everybody, get your little butts over here. You're meant to be uh, listening to me now that this is fixed. Caleb is choosing to start a fight with the bartender. Morty has gone over to another dance floor. I don't really feel as if the autonomy has been fixed. Is this strike two? Can we request a toast from Caleb? He's gone to actually give us a toast, but we're not listening to it. <laughs> we're trying to talk to the bartender. We're trying to figure out what was actually going on. What was his beef? But it did tick off the have toasts. I still feel like you have to just like add everyone to a group to get the most out of these events. He didn't decide to get himself a drink, but he has decided to talk with us, which is more than I can say for anyone else in this video yet, Caleb. Oh, it's because we're talking about vampiric things. Now they all listen to me. Now they're all like, oh, you're buying us around? Okay, we'll come get drinks, you little cheapskates. To be fair, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt because it does actually say after telling guests to do ceremony activity. So maybe it's like, this is actually only working for wedding ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> which is what we are having tomorrow. But it should just work for all of the activities available. Keep in mind, I've taken out all of my mods and custom content. I have also updated my game and I have fixed my game after taking out my mods and custom content. So this is like vanilla. Caleb absolutely carrying this on his back. He said, uh, you're getting the perfect batch party, whether you want it or not. Thank you, Caleb Vator. Always knew you were an ally. I say as if he's not the bisexual king himself. She didn't eat it and we can sell it for 337 simoleons. Gather left of arch, gather right. Please take your seats. Gather for recessional, gather at aisle. Gather sims to the left. Well, I was gonna go for Lady D's, but none of Lady D's guests have arrived. People have just kind of shown up in like whatever outfit they uh, wanted to. Dom is wearing a white dress, which Dom, side eye. They have started moving, so that's good. Then we're gonna click on the aisle. We are going to send down the flower pal, first of all. That's gonna be Faz. And we're also gonna play the wedding music as... Okay. 
Okay, Faz is coming down. That's good. And then we are going to send down. He's done his thing. He's done his bit. Oh God, he still got up. Why do they not just sit there and wait? Like surely that's all that you want. Please take your seats. Hillary, do you want to come over? You've got, oh, you were already gathered. I'm sorry, I forgot that you were in the wedding. That was absolutely my bad. So you can't really choose like what side they sit on. I don't think Caleb was like meant to be sitting on this side, but that's fine. We'll uh, send down the Sim of Honor Dom and then you are just going to go critique the work in our wedding venue. Take your seat over here, girl. I wish that you could like tell one person. <laughs> to go sit down. Hillary, sit your ass down, please. Okay. Cam, I'm fairly sure glitched out. No, I'm getting married. I don't want to be contacted by a wealthy weirdo on my wedding day. Oh, Hillary. <laughs> Oh, if there's gonna be a screenshot that sums up this wedding, it's gonna be this one right here. To be fair, I did say if I could, I would also be marrying Hillary and then just Morty sat being a good boy. Our efficient hasn't gathered at the front. I kind of just wish they did, to be completely honest. Whoa, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. You save that for the honeymoon. Come on now. Right. Let's go and exchange vows with officiant and kiss, please. For the love of God, work. Our officiant is currently busy playing guitar. It did say that they were going to stop doing stuff autonomously. Okay, come on, Cam. <gasps> this is looking good. This is absolutely looking good. Hillary has actually refused to take her seat. Please take your seats. Oh, everyone, we're doing a switch around. No, you've had your chance. You've been married. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are they now just stood on the aisle? Cam, you're our officiant. You should be the one who's like stood up here officiating the wedding. Oh, we're exchanging rings. I don't know if that means we exchanged our vows, but we've definitely done it. Everyone's just playing musical chairs. Cool. Thanks, guys. Also, I'm levitating. <laughs> I not only have the doula peep hair, I also have the doula peep levitation skill. I mean, the officiant definitely didn't work. However, we did get married. At the end of the day, we're married. So like, do you need anything apart from that? Have guests throw uh, rice. This is quite cute. I don't think I've ever actually seen the, the rice work as we get married. They did that pretty soon as well. Quick reaction times from the crowd there. Thank you all very much. You all put your whole plum bussy into uh, throwing that rice. And whilst they are doing that, we're just gonna be in our own little world for a little bit more. Gather for cake. There are no cakes on the lot. Well, that's not my fault, is it? I told you what I wanted for my cake and you didn't do it. Gather for first dance. Let's see if they actually go on over. Whilst we're having our dance, we can maybe have them blow bubbles. Oh, I was expecting that to be like, oh, some of them are and then some of them aren't. We've decided to have our first dance in here. <laughs> You know what? That's actually quite sweet. I think that was a little bit of a glitch, but it's like we compromised because we were like, oh yeah, our wife is a vampire. If she goes out at like before 6 p.m., then she's probably going to burn to death. So this is cool. Like I'm fine with dancing in here and some of them did blow bubbles. So thank you very, very much for that. Nobody is gathering for toast. I'm fairly sure that was something that we could have done. Oop, yeah, sorry. My bad, Caleb. I haven't played my wedding stories in a hot minute. I did just make everyone ignore you. I had them gather for toast and they're going over to the fountain, I think. No, they're going over to this one. I have to say, I am quite impressed with the autonomy on this one. They're not really like listening too much like to the toast, but when I do say like gather or do this, it does seem to be responsive. Like, like the 
guests are actually doing what I ask of them. That absolutely was not the case at our batch party. And also there are random townies spawning on our wedding venue, which I'm not super impressed about. I'm so sad that we couldn't have a great cake debacle of 2024, like we did in my original My Wedding Stories video, where our guests just like broke into the cake before I could even serve it. Although I will say this feels even more micromanagey than the first first time around when it came to my wedding stories. And honestly, when everything is going right, it feels as if you can't really throw like a spanner in the works when it comes to weddings. Like it doesn't really feel as dramatic as I personally would want it to. I quite like the great cake debacle. It was annoying, but it was fun. Don't get me wrong. It was a horrific release and it definitely was just released too early. Like it was not finished. These fixes do help. It's still not not my favorite pack though, let's be real. I think The Sims 4 is micromanagey in the best case scenario. So when it's not working all that great and when it's a pack dedicated to micromanagement, I know some people like that, that's not my kind of gameplay. It does seem to be working slightly better. It's still not perfect in my personal opinion. I'm fairly sure I remember them in some form of a patch note at some point recently. They said that they reinstated the like run from aisle and like standing someone up even if you had my wedding stories installed. So we're just gonna do a base game wedding. God, they really said you're not allowed to be unsociable in this game. Get out there. This is a life simulation and what if I want to rot in that life? If you want a base game one, just plan a wedding event. Don't plan a customized. It's kind of like the new dates and the base game dates in Love Struck. Not me wearing black. How did I know that she was gonna run for me? Why are we wearing more black in this wedding where I didn't choose the theming than we did in my actual one where I chose a black theme? I always forget how this actually works because it's one of those things that you don't really like do all uh, that often. Let me uh, sprint on out of here. Ooh, uh, we click on the opposite sim and then we have call off the wedding. It works. Even if you have my wedding stories installed, you can call off the wedding. Now that didn't work on launch. Get that fire exit door. <gasps> Just called off the wedding with mole. Thank goodness for that. I'm so glad it's back. And to open up our relationship, we are no longer engaged. Would you believe it? Infuriated about cancel wedding. How dare she humiliate me in front of everyone at my wedding? Oh my goodness gracious me. This is also now available in my wedding stories. This wasn't possible with like a planned customizable wedding event. It just like that option did not exist. And now it does. It works the exact same way. So you can choose to like exchange your vows. I did exchange vows and a kiss. As long as you're clicked on a sim and then you click their partner, you can also call off the wedding even in a my wedding stories wedding. <gasps> I'm gonna get my own back. Yeah, who's the girl kisser now? No more vampire teeth in the side of my neck. <laughs> I'm so, so glad. I just found it hilarious that they literally had that in the trailer for My Wedding Stories and it only got fixed this year. I can't remember what patch that actually got fixed in, but I know it was recently. Just narrowly avoided a very serious relationship. Not her throwing a drink in our face. Just a quick note whilst I'm editing, the gather on either side really didn't work the way I expected it to. I expected that you could actually choose like who sits on whose side just to bring some realism to this pack, but they just kind of hover on either side of the altar. It's not choosing where they sit. It's just like gather at that side of the altar. Maybe it's more for like throwing rice and maybe like taking photos as you're walking like back up the aisle. I'm not too sure. Thank you for gathering here today to celebrate the hatred of my wedding story. I'll drop it at some point in my life. I appreciate you all very much. Let me know if you've thrown any weddings in your game. Let me know how it ran for you personally. Maybe I'm just playing this pack wrong. Honestly, I wouldn't put it past myself. 
I don't really like playing weddings in this way. I just kind of prefer the base game ones and using group activities. So you lot probably are better at this pack than I ever could be, but I appreciate you all and I'll speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.